what would have been this past week's plan with me. Um, I totally forgot that I even filmed this video until today, and today is actually Saturday. Um, so this is definitely super late, uh, so sorry about that, but I just, I honestly forgot completely about it. Um, I've been using my TN, I haven't actually looked at my Erin Condren again this week, I need to go back in and fill it out. Um, but yeah, so I totally forgot I'd even filmed this. So I am using the Chanel Deluxe Kit, and this particular one is on glossy paper. Um, so I started off doing my bottom washi, my date covers, and I finally got the numbers right this time. Um, and then I decided to do my sidebar, so I've got my quote box up at the top, um, two of my daily trackers, and then two of my weekly trackers. I did spending and then a this week tracker. Um, and then I wanted to go in and put in my glitter headers. I like to do those first just so that I know what color I want to do on each day. Um, especially now that we have the work labels in the kits, I like to make sure that I'm going to be able to put those on the days that I want. Um, but yeah, so after that I went ahead and did the little things labels on the very bottom, as you guys can see. Um, and I did a pretty basic spread this week. I didn't want to go too, too crazy with it. I feel like lately in the Erin Condren, I definitely am preferring more of like a minimal spread, if that makes sense at all. Um, this one was just completely no white space, um, but last, the last couple of weeks, I think, I've not been using Ombre Heart Checklist, and I do and I don't like that. It really just depends on what else I'm able to fit um, within the day. Um, if I don't do a bunch of other stuff, like putting in the meal plan labels like I have done a couple of weeks back, then I don't mind doing that because I can generally use a half box and like a marquee or a quarter box, so I've at least got two places to write in things that are going on that day. Um, but this week I decided to go back to Ombre Heart Checklist because I just thought that it, that's kind of how I'm so used to planning, being able to make a, a physical list and then check it off, which this week didn't matter quite so much since I didn't really use my Erin Condren. Um, but I think that works out just kind of better for me depending on what's going on. If it isn't a super busy week, um, then I do like to do the no ombre heart checklist or even a regular heart checklist, just no list essentially on the planner. Um, but I did put my full boxes across the top. I am just completely in love still with these full boxes with this whole kit. I think it is so cute. Um, and then I did my ombre heart checklist just right above my little things so that I would have that room in between the full box and the ombre heart checklist to put in a half box or a marquee or whatever it was that I decided that I wanted to do. Um, I put my work label on top, honestly, because I forgot to put it on the bottom. Um, so I ended up putting it just kind of right in the center, which did mess me up a bit. I wasn't actually able to, now that I remember, I wasn't actually able to use any half boxes because it would have covered some of my full boxes, and these are super decorative. But luckily this kit actually had um, the marquees in place of the deco on the fifth sheet. So I had enough marquees to do the entire week, and it worked out really nicely. Um, and I actually love how this spread turned out for this week. I don't mind having the work labels up top since that is generally where I write in kind of like work-related things. Um, so I stuck my weekend banner down at the bottom, a movie marquee on Friday because of new releases. I stuck a little payday icon on Tuesday. Well, I pulled it back up and decided to stick down the script icon. Um, and then I just put a couple of other little icons throughout the week. But I'm sorry this took so long to get up. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye, guys.